Good to have you. Good to see you. Good to see you.
Do we have anything to sign? Yes, ma'am. On the rezoning? Yeah, uh, yes, ma'am. But it's but, but, uh, it's, but I can tell you it's really expensive. So that's the reason why I just told you what you're saying. It is to protect us. Okay. So that's what that means. Okay. So can I get So, are we ready? I still need to sign up and stuff. Yeah. We're just talking about the here. I think that's that the reason is. All righty. You're fine. Lord, I'm just glad somebody's over there. 
You wouldn't want to do it, Chair? <laughs> I wouldn't know how to do I it. <laughs> I hear all this clicking, clicking going on. I'll be calling that man right there. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Help. Turn it on. I know. <laughs> oh, yeah, turn it on. Yeah. Uh, we're ready. You ready? Mm -hmm. All right. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Austin County Board of Commissioners work session. Today's Thursday, January 20th. Voting session, not work session. Voting session, January 20th, 2022. Appreciate those that are attendants with us here in the room as well as those that are with us online. We'll get straight into the roll call. Somebody has not punched in. Yeah, now here's this blanket. All right, we're good then. All right. As you can see, uh, four of us are here. Commissioner Gaines was unable to be with us this afternoon. Uh, we'll move on to the opening presentation. We have a proclamation recognizing January 23rd through the 29th, 2022, is School Choice Week in Dawson County. And I'll read that proclamation. So it's Dawson County Board of Commissioners in recognition of Dawson County School Choice Week proclamation, whereas all children in Dawson County should have access to high quality education possible, or has Dawson County recognized the important role that an effective education plays in preparing all students in Dawson County to be successful adults, and whereas quality education is critically important to the economic vitality of Dawson County, and whereas Dawson County is home to high quality public and non-public schools from which parents can choose for their children, in addition to families who educate their children in the home. And whereas educational variety not only helps to diversify our economy, but also enhances the vibrancy of our community. And whereas Dawson County has many high quality teaching professionals in all types of school settings who are committed to educating our children. And whereas School Choice Week is celebrated across the country by millions of students, parents, educators, schools, and organizations to raise awareness of the need for effective educational options. Now, therefore, the Dallas County Board of Commissioners hereby recognizes January 23rd through the 29th, 2022 as Dawson County School Choice Week. And I call this observance to the attention of all of our citizens. Um, with that, I'll entertain a motion from the board for this proclamation. Motion to approve. Motion by Commissioner Fawcett. Second. Seconded by Commissioner Satterfield. Discussion. Hearing none, please vote. And that a proclamation is approved 3 0. Well, ask everyone to please stand for a brief invocation and pledge. would bow your heads please our dear gracious heavenly father we thank you for this another day and for the many blessings of life we ask for knowledge and wisdom to carry out the business of this county anything that we accomplish we give you the honor and glory which in christ's name we do ask and pray amen i pledge allegiance to the flag of the united states of america and to the republic for which it stands one nation under god indivisible with liberty and justice for all Thank you. You may be seated. <clears throat> we'll move on to announcements. Do we have any announcements? Yes, Mr. Chairman, I have an announcement. Uh, while I guess it's common knowledge that I'm not going to be running uh, for a next term, I just want to make an official announcement that I will not be running. Uh, time to go pay attention to farm and family and give somebody else an opportunity to sit here and serve the citizens. Uh, make no mistake, no, I'm still going to be here through December 31st, 2022. <laughs> so I'm going to give it all I got. I'm not going to slack off a bit. So anyway, 
give somebody else a chance to, to sit here. Thank you so much for your service. You've done an outstanding job over the past Mr. Chairman, seven years going into your eight. Yes, thank you. Mr. Chairman, I guess since Chair announced, I'm going to announce that I'm not running again. Uh, uh, but I want to appreciate everybody that stood behind me and supported me. And uh, I got the, some things done that I wanted to do. Uh, this county's moved forward a lot and, and, and we're still growing, but uh, I've enjoyed uh, working with this board and with the county manager and department heads. I think we got some of the best department heads. Uh, I could put them up against anybody, uh, but uh, I've enjoyed it. But like Sharon said, give somebody else an opportunity. I've got uh, three grandkids and another one on the way. Oh, <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna enjoy them. That's right. Well, thank you both, and uh, we look forward to working with you throughout the remainder of 2022. And we know that you'll do an outstanding job during that time. Thank you. Amber, do you have anything you want to say? <laughs> I think it may be too early for me. To do I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you, you can't go anywhere yet. <laughs> you're, you're good. All right, we'll move on to the approval of the minutes. First up, we have the minutes work session held on December 16th, 2021. Any additions or deletions? Motion. Motion to approve. Motion by Commissioner Dooley. Second. Seconded by Commissioner Fawcett. Discussion. Hearing none, please vote. And those are approved 3-0. Next up, we have the minutes of the voting session held on December 16, 2021. Any additions or deletions? Motion. Motion to approve. Motion by Commissioner Satterfield. Second. Seconded by Commissioner Fawcett. Discussion. Hearing none, please vote. And those minutes are approved 3 0. Next. Well, Mr. Mr. Chairman, I, I still would like to thank Kristen. I know she's not here, but she does such an excellent job on these minutes. She's and, listening. Okay. Yeah. And they really <laughs> they get complicated and they get long, and she does such an excellent job capturing what happens. And I just I want to thank her for that because it's hard. She does do an excellent job. Yes, she does. Thank you very much. Next, we'll move on to the approval of the agenda. I do have some changes to the agenda <laughs> under new business. Let me get to my sheet. All right, so the additions of number four through 11 under new business, we have a request to accept 2022 Criminal Justice Coordinating Council canine grant. Number five will be presentation of request to accept highway enforcement of aggressive traffic heat grant. Number six, request to accept FY 2022 Victims of Crime Act grant. Number seven will be request to accept Georgia Child Passenger Safety, Safety Mini Grant. Number eight, the 2022 election qualifying fees for local officials. Number nine, structural repair and refurbishment of the transfer station. Number 10, resolution supporting changes to Georgia's annexation law. And number 11, board appointments, both to the Board of Health as well as the Chester T. Chattahoochee Resource Conservation and Development Council. And with those changes, I'll entertain a motion to approve the agenda. Motion to approve. Motion by Commissioner Fawcett. Second. Seconded by Commissioner Dooley. Discussion. Hearing none, please vote. <clears throat> and that is approved 3 0 with those listed changes. No one signed up for public comment in this particular section. We do have someone at the end, so we'll move on to uh, public hearing. An ordinance amending chapter 30 of the code of Dawson County to establish a mechanism whereby county residents may petition the board of commissioners for the creation of a special tax district to fund capital improvement projects. We talked about this a few times over the last couple of months. And basically what this does is it allows uh, citizens that may live on a road that is not a county road. Uh, they would like for that to be upgraded for them to petition the county and the opportunity, and they would 
be created a special tax district if enough of the people agree that lived on that road and they would fund that uh, over a number of years. And so any other information needed by the board before we open up this public here? I just, I wanna thank uh, county attorney and their staff uh, for all the meetings and back and forth on the phone and, and uh, <clears throat> citizens input on it and county manager. I mean, we, we, we've talked about this thing for well over a year. Uh, development authorities really behind it on some areas that they're looking at as far as uh, trying to improve and possibly bring some people in bigger uh, businesses uh, and employment to the county residents. Um, but not only for roads, you know, it's got some other language in there. Mm -hmm. If they've got a water problem or Commercial. culverts or ditches or something like that. Uh, so some other any kind of capital project. capital yeah. improvements. Mm -hmm. I just want to thank everybody that's really worked on it because, like I said, it's uh, you know, we might not have a lot of residents coming to us, but we got some that's really uh, interested in it right now to prove where they live. Good. All right. Anyone else? Or open up the here. All right. Is there anyone here to speak on the ordinance amending chapter 30 of the code of Dawson County to establish a mechanism whereby county residents may petition the board of commissioners for the creation of special tax districts to fund capital improvement projects. Anyone, anyone here? Seeing none, I'll close that hearing. What's the pleasure of the board? Mr. Chairman, I'd like to make a motion to approve the uh, creation of a special tax district. Okay. Amending of chapter 30. Amending of chapter 30. Yes, sir. Okay. Motion by Mr. Satterfield. Second. Se seconded by Commissioner Fawcett. Discussion. Hearing none, please vote. And that is approved 3 0 to amend the ordinance. Chapter 30 of the Code of Dallas County Establishment Mechanism, whereby county residents may petition the Board of Commissioners for creation of a special tax district to fund capital improvement projects. Denise has got some more responsibility. Yep. <laughs> yep. I'm sorry, Denise. Uh, I'm, so, I'm sorry, Denise. I forgot. I mean, Denise was well involved with this, too. I'm sorry. I didn't, I didn't see you. Sit. I thought you phone. left, but thanks for Denise, too, because she put, had a lot of input on it also. All right, so we'll move on to zonings. Before we do that, we'll go over the zoning rules, which we will go by in reference to these two zonings we have tonight. First, the planning director will present the application and recommendation of the planning commission. Then we will hear from the applicant and I will open that hearing. We'll hear from those who are in favor of the application. We'll hear from those who are opposed to the application. Each person wishing to speak will be allotted three minutes per our zoning guidelines. Anyone who speaks will need to sign in and give us your name and address. Also, if you've donated $250 or more to any candidate, we will need to fill out a form stating so. Those are the rules by which we will operate. All right, so we'll move on to SU 2108, Jeffrey Abbott requests a special use of tax map parcel 118-039-002 for the purpose of placing a mobile home on less than five acres in a RA residential agricultural zone. And Ms. Sharon. Good evening and happy new year. Um, the, the planning commission on this request did recommend approval. Um, as you know, in the RA and RRE districts, special use approval is required to locate a manufactured home on five acres. This parcel was just barely under that five acre mark. If you look at the uh, attached colored zoning maps, um, you can see all the parcels around it are kind of an odd shape. Uh, parcel to the left somehow maybe over the years picked up that 0.25 acres you never really know long term um, but the, but staff is supportive of the request and it is just off of Emma's, Emmett Moss Road. Questions for Ms. Sharon? Do you know if any of the neighbors have said anything you know they're supposed to contact there's a list of neighbors if any of them we've not received not any received complaints. any of them. No. okay All right, is the applicant present? Come on up, tell us what you'd like to do. Mr. 
Mr. Chairman, Commissioner. <laughs> um, what we're looking to do, um, and I, as far as the neighbors, it's uh, my sister's the parcel to the left, my mom and daddy's uh, across the road, and then aunts and uncles is on the other side of my sister. Ooh, um, that's making for trouble. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's plenty of space in between. And okay. you're Mr. Abbott? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, yeah, we, um, with the cost of lumber materials and everything, instead of doing a traditional stick built, we looked at doing a manufactured home, found some pretty acceptable options on the higher end of those. Um, so we pulled the trigger, got mortgage lined up. I've already got a septic permit. I've got trying to get somebody out to drill a well. So we're rolling through all of that. Um, wasn't until after we had done all that, I found out with the zoning and the less than five acres. Um, but that's, that's what we're looking forward to do. Uh, my wife, Nicole, and I and our three children, um, we've been renting a house over off Kylo Church Road and uh, tired of renting, tired of not letting our kids have dogs and, mm -hmm. and all that stuff. And it's moving home for me, um, and it's somewhere I'd like for my children to grow up. Um, so if the commission would be all right with it, we sure would appreciate it. Questions of the app. Do you think at some point you would build a house? It, it is something maybe down the line we would do, I, not to think morbidly um, or anything, but between my sister and I, there's 30 acres around there that we would inherit. So mm -hmm. maybe at some point of doing something on that, but it would probably be on, it's old pasture. Land, so some, somewhere if we were to build would be on a, another parcel down the line. Maybe you keep that as a rental property or when our kids go to college, I have them a place to stay to support them in that manner. There were a um, couple of recommendations yes. from your staff. Mm -hmm. uh, are you familiar with those recommendations about the foundation and things like that? And the power? Um, not familiar. I'd be happy to hear them. Can you answer. go over those, Sharon? Yes, certainly. They're, they're straight out of the, the code. He would um, be subject to that compliance to that. Um, but we went ahead and added that and I'll have him take this staff report with him. <clears throat> uh, let's uh, manufactured home be placed on a permanent foundation mm -hmm. and skirted concrete block or brick. And we, the uh, power yeah. meter placed on the structure, not on the pole. Yeah, that's but what we put and we're uh, we're having perimeter footers footers poured instead of just putting it on blocks and yeah. And you're good with that? Yes, sir. Okay. Just want to make sure. Any other questions of the app? Was this the one that was zoned in future land use map is uh, commercial? No. No, no. this, uh, this is one. another one? Okay. Well, you know I've read it, but I got it mixed up. Okay. <laughs> you're the 4.74? Yes, ma'am. Okay. I got you. He's almost at 5 acres. That's yeah. right. Yeah. I'll I, I get, I get straight here. Any other questions for the app? Thank you, sir. At this time, I'll open up this hearing. Is anyone here to speak in favor of the application? Anyone here to speak in favor of the application? Anyone here to speak in opposition to the application? Anyone here to speak in opposition to the application? Seeing none, I'll close that here and what's the pleasure of the board. Mr. Chairman, I'd like to make a motion to approve SU 21-08. Okay, motion to approve by Commissioner Satterfield. Second. Seconded by Commissioner Dooley. Discussion? Hearing none, please vote. And that is approved 3-0. Next, we'll move up to ZA-2123, Stanley Hood request to rezone tax map parcel 088-108-001 from RA residential agriculture to RSR residential subrule for the purpose of subdividing the parcel into two parcels on Highway 9 South. Ms. Sharon. Yes, this property, uh, as you said, is on Highway 9 South in the vicinity of the Dollar General Store. Uh, the applicant is going to split the property into two 2.5 acre parcels um, for the purpose of constructing a single family home. The Planning Commission did recommend approval. Questions for Ms. Sharon? Any stipulations on it? No. Okay. Questions? Thank you, ma'am. Is the applicant present? Come on up and tell us what you'd like to do, sir. Thank you, guys. Hope y'all are all doing well. 
Um, I've got a young couple. Uh, uh, you're Mr. Hood, right? Yeah, it's family. Hood. Hood. Sorry. Okay. Um, got a young couple is wanting to buy that piece of land because their parents live cross road on Jules Lake. And so, and they want to keep everything there in the family. So, and I agreed to sell it to them. And then, like her, like, like him, I didn't have an idea when we went to do it. He, you know, you had to be five acres. And so okay. they done went and got the SEP tank permits. They done got the uh, soil test and everything they needed. And then, and couldn't find out we had to, had to be five acres. So, and uh, it's a way the land lays is great for a house and goes, it's for the nice piece of land for a basement, more or less. So, okay. and <coughs> try and make my neighbors happy too, uh, across from me or the side of it. The mosses, they, they got a house there, good friends of ours. And if I sold it commercial or something, it made them very upset at me, you know? So, and it's a piece of land I don't use. I mean, so it's, but I appreciate y'all's times, guys. Any questions Any for questions? the applicant? What's the size of the two partials? Is it going, you subdivide it into two partials? Yeah. Well, actually, uh, it's nearly three acres, but we're just doing the whole thing. I think mean, it's right. Yeah. 2.8 something or two each. The first parcel is about 2.8, and then the second one was the remainder of the five acre parcel. 2.2. Okay. 2.2. 2.8. Uh, do you own the business, I guess, which yeah. is the landscape yeah. Yeah. business. And then, yeah. of course, you would have the piece of property in between that yeah. and yeah. what's being proposed yeah. has yeah. being sold has a house yeah. area as well. Okay. Yeah, I own Robert Hood and Son. Mm -hmm. Well, Hood's Landscaping and Robert okay. Hood and Son there. All right. We moved up from coming. Other questions of the app? Thank you, sir. Appreciate you, brother. Uh, staff. Nice. Staff question, yes. What's the size of the partials? I guess he's talking about a house. What's the size of their, or in their lots? Do we have that? Um, as it's shown in the concept plan, it's uh, 2.826 acres for lot two. What's the house next to the lot? How many acres is that one? The same? Okay. Yeah, the, the total survey is five five acres. Not, I think so we have a right couple there. of concepts. So it's not even as big. Yeah, it's going to be split in that one to be about this, the same. What's around it now, though, is smaller yeah. than right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. Other questions? Thank, thank you. Thank you, ma'am. All right, so this time I'll open up the hearing. Is anyone here to speak in favor of the application? Anyone here speak in favor of the application? Anyone here speak in opposition to the application? Anyone here to speak in opposition to the application? Seeing none, I'll close that here and what's pleasure of the board. I make a motion to approve ZA 21-23. Motion to approve by Commissioner Dooley. Second. Seconded by Commissioner Fawcett. Discussion. Hearing none, please vote. And that's proof three of ZA 2123. All right, we'll move on down to unfinished business. Consideration to move forward to a public hearing for a zoning fee schedule update. That was originally presented at the October 21st, 2021 work session and removed from the November 4th, 2021 voting session agenda for more time to take a look at that. Hopefully you've had that time to do so. And what we would be doing tonight would be voting if you so desire to move forward to a public hearing. Any other information need? Motions. Oh, can I ask? You can. Did I see something in here about tattoo and body art and something else? Just updating the name. Um, the state is going with their changes and and it will now be called body art, not tattoo. So that was, it was just a name. I name. thought it was name. completely marked out. I didn't see any fees by it. 
Yeah, the, the, the fees for that didn't change. I'm just changing the name to okay. match the state statute. Okay, okay. Yeah. And this oh, was a marked out tattoo. Okay, yeah. I saw, I, I saw some of them like that. I didn't know yeah. exactly what was happening with that. Right. And this was a two-step process where um, we first had to have the ordinance to adopt a resolution and then a resolution to adopt the fee schedule. So we missed... Yeah, we missed one of those moving parts back, okay. in, back in the fall. So hopefully, we're well, we want to do it right now. We're we'll we really trying. We'll try. Yeah, that's it. So this is move forward with public hearing. Any other information need? Motions. Motion to approve. To go to public hearing. Okay. Motion by Commissioner Satterfield. Second. Second by Commissioner Dooley. Discussion. Hearing none, please vote. That's proof 3-0 to go to the public hearing. Do we have a date on that? Uh, yes, sir. That would be at the February 2nd. Where's that? Or is it 3rd? 3rd, 3rd, 3rd. Yeah. Yes. February 3rd? Yes, That's all. All right, I'll move on in to new business. First up, we have consideration of an intergovernmental agreement between Dawson County and the city of Dawsonville concerning cross-jurisdictional right of way Mowing, we talked about that um, back in December. Um, with some of that work, we will do like on uh, David. You have those roads, Gold Mine, Mine Road, and uh, I don't have a Coast Gold Mine Road. That's all right. But um, any other information needed on that? Yeah, the city's already approved this. Is that right? That is correct. My knowledge. Yeah, I think so. Uh, the chairman's uh, uh, request, Goldmine Road, Lee Wright Road, Dr. Okay. In return, what are they going to pay? JC Bird. Yeah, JC Bird, and then uh, the one perimeter. perimeter and one downtown there where the dollar store is. Hauser Mill. There you go. Are we in discussion? Can we can be. Okay. Just, All right, you got a question? Go ahead. No, I just uh, I'd like to uh, see how this goes once we get it in place for the city and and then revisit or meet back with them and see about them cutting some stuff downtown. Because, like I said, they're riding around us. To, they're going from one side of the court, old courthouse to the other side, and we're cutting in between and around the health department. So, if we can, I know they're paying the company to do that. And, Sometimes we're out there the same day, day and we were riding around each other cutting grass. <laughs> I'd like to revisit that once to get this in place and see how it goes. Okay. Any other information needed? Motions. Motion to approve. Motion by Commissioner Fawcett. Second. Second by Commissioner Dooley. Discussion. Hearing none, please vote. And that's proof 3 0. Next up, we have consideration of IFB numbers 399 21, sale of surplus real property owned by Dawson County Board of Commissioners. Shannon brought that list to us uh, back in December. Any other information needed? Motions? Motion to approve. Motion by Commissioner Satterfield. Second. Seconded by Commissioner Fawcett. Discussion. Hearing none, please vote. <laughs> and that is approved 3-0. Next up, consideration, ratification of settlement agreement and full financial release of claims between Margaret Murdoch and Dawson County. Uh, any other information needed? Motions? Uh, motion to approve. Motion by Commissioner Fawcett. Second. Seconded by Commissioner Dooley. Discussion? Hearing none, please vote. And that is approved 3 0. We'll move on to number four request to accept criminal justice coordinating council K9 grant. That's an amount of $112,204. Any other information needed? 
Motions? Motion to approve. Motion by Commissioner Satterfield, seconded by Commissioner Fawcett. Discussion? Hearing none, please vote. And that is approved 3-0. Next up, we have a request to accept highway enforcement of aggressive traffic, the heat grant. That's 107,765 and 34 cents. Any other information needed? Motions? Motion to accept the grant. Motion by Commissioner Dooley. Second. Seconded by Commissioner Fawcett. Discussion? Hearing none, please vote. And that is approved 3-0. Number six, request to accept FY 2022 Victims of Crime Act grant. That's $74,419. Other, any other information needed? Motions? Motion to approve. Motion by Commissioner Fawcett. Second. Seconded by Commissioner Satterfield. Discussion? Hearing none, please vote. And that is approved 3-0. We'll move on to number seven. It's request to accept Georgia Child Passenger Safety Mini Grant. This is where we will receive uh, car safety seats that the fire department will hand out to people that are in need. Uh, any other information needed? Motions? Motion to accept. Motion by Commissioner Dooley. Second. Seconded by Commissioner Fawcett. Discussion? Hearing none, please vote. And that is approved 3-0. Next up, number eight, we have the 2022 election qualifying fees for local officials. We have two board members and two school board members uh, that will be this, this year. And that fee was $288 for each one of those. Any other information needed? Motions? Motion to approve. Motion by Commissioner Fawcett, seconded by Commissioner Satterfield. Discussion? Hearing none, please vote. And that is approved 3-0. Moving on to number nine, the structural repair and refurbishment of the transfer station. We discussed that earlier about uh, okaying that to be moved forward have that engineered uh, so that we would know what we're facing to make that a safer place to work. Any other information needed? Yeah, is, is this where they're going to bring another person in and you're going to, instead of kind of visually, you're going to get down to the structure? Is that what send, we're talking We have to send about? it out for us. We send it out, yeah. Okay. Be it. So you basically be voting to send it out to bid okay. for an engineer. Okay. Okay. Right. Uh, we might want to structure the RP to uh, give us an alternate cost on that so that okay. we can go either, 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 either way, either way. Either and then we can one or the other or both. present both yeah. options to you and then go from there because it'd be hard to make a decision one way or the other without knowing the cost, cost. Yeah. yeah so that's a good idea yeah thanks Dave. Excellent. all right any other information needed motions make a motion to approve to send out for a bid for Two options, either to accept only residential or resident or commercial or the both, commercial and residential. Engineering. To the call, engineering cost uh, okay. to make the repairs. Good. Motion by Commissioner Satterfield. Second. Seconded by Commissioner Dooley. Discussion? Hearing none, please vote. That's approved 3 0. We'll move on to Number 10, resolution supporting changes to Georgia's annexation law. Council presented that earlier. Any other information needed? 
Motions. Motion to approve to support the resolution. Okay, motion by Commissioner Fawcett. Second. Seconded by Commissioner Dooley. Discussion? Hearing none, please vote. That's approved 3-0. And we'll move on to number 11, board appointments, uh, board of health. Uh, recommending Ms. Kay Parrish as a reappointment term January 2022 through December 2027. Any other information needed? Motion? Motion to approve Kay Parrish. Motion by Commissioner Satterfield. Second. Seconded by Commissioner Fawcett. Discussion? Hearing none, please vote. And that's Ms. Parrish has approved 3 0. We have Two reappointments on the Chesapeake Chattahoochee Resource Conservation and Development Council. Uh, Ms. Sharon Fawcett, reappointment January 2022 through December 2022. And Mr. George Lyons, January 2022 through December 2022. And I'll make that recommendation to you. Any other information needed? Motions? Motion to approve. Motion by Commissioner Dooley. Second. Seconded by Commissioner Satterfield. Discussion? Hearing none, please vote. And those appointments are approved 3 0. All right. We do have one person who signed up for public comment, and Miss Marjorie Osborne. Come on up. I'm so glad to be here and just get to be in on seeing the process that you all care. I, I appreciate what you're doing, just in a nutshell. I can see that there's a lot of complexities you deal with. Uh, I came to Dosco and moved here in November and I'm in a situation I'd never believed that could happen. Um, and I don't know if there's any help for me, but I thought the board should hear what is possible uh, in the conditions in the county I've been told by the health department, there's no help for me. I've been told by the police department, there's no help for me. I've been told by uh, assistance to the elderly, there's no help for me. I'm hoping that there is help that the board is aware of. I'm renting a property on a private property. It's a uh, adorable little structure that looked like a barn that was converted. I moved in, understanding that it was rough and I didn't care about it being rough cosmetically, but I needed a place, very hard to find a place in, in Dawsonville, extremely hard. So I moved in and shortly thereafter, I was coughing violently. I was getting very sick and uh, I had the well tested, found out it was highly contaminated, found out that, uh, that I found these things. Um, I went looking, where, where is this all coming from? And I found holes in the ductwork this big where rats and mice were nesting inside and all those nesting materials, the, air, the heat and air was blowing out on me. And uh, now we've recently discovered that all the wiring is compromised. Um, the owners have made effort to fix things, but never effectively. Uh, they had someone come out and clean the ductwork and it was improper. Uh, company that didn't suck it out of the house. He blew it all back into the house. He used some kind of machine that tore up ductwork that was in there that uh, couldn't handle it. It's torn now and open. And um, there is still animal hair and grit coming through on me that I'm breathing if I turn the heat on. I've appealed to the owner to get this fixed. She has to replace maybe uh, 10 feet of torn ductwork with metal and then open the ceiling a few places and patch holes where mice are coming through where there are uh, wiring going through. They've used the space between the upper floor and the ceiling as ductwork, which I guess is common. And uh, I just found out uh, three days ago that they refused to do that and they're demanding I turn the heat on. They're saying we had it cleaned. I've shown her pictures. I've got samples of the hair, but I'm told there's no help for me. And she's demanding tonight that I turn the heat back on. I've been keeping the house warm with uh, space heaters with her permission. Well, that started a fire yesterday. This wiring so bad. 
I realized I've been smelling burning wiring ever since I moved in there. It's the smell of fish cooking. I didn't know what it was. I know why I'm smelling the neighbor's fish cooking or something, but it's electrical hot wiring in the walls, even when you're not running the air or the heat. And uh, I can keep the house warm enough to tread water to try and find another place to go if I'm allowed to use, if I'm allowed to keep the thermostat down and I use uh, cooking, the oven, that sort of thing. When I'm cooking and using the kitchen, that keeps the house warm enough during the night that it does not freeze. It's never gone down below 50 degrees in the house. And I'm, that's where I am right now. She's demanding I turn it on. I have no place to go. If this stuff, if we open the vents up, this stuff is highly toxic and it contaminates everything in my house. I've had to wipe things down multiple times with bleach and then clean all my clothes, coughing and gagging. It, it's unbelievable. My breathing has improved. I'm, uh, the chest pain is gone. The congestion is gone. My sinuses aren't burning anymore. My voice is not restored fully. Uh, because I closed all of it off and I got special air cleaners that uh, sanitize the air. Now she's demanding that I, and uh, she's quoting the terms the least to me every few minutes. And that's where I am. It's a nightmare that I cannot believe I'm in it. And it's taking, I don't know if there's zoning laws that apply or if anything can help me, but that's where I am. That's legal. <laughs> I mean, that, yeah. Wow. Well, I've been told civil case, see, and then what do I do? That takes, how long do those wheels grind? This is tonight. And um, this is how I'm being treated in the county. There aren't any laws, apparently, anywhere that protect me from someone renting their property in this condition without uh, being responsible for the condition of the property that they are renting. So obviously I can't provide legal advice to you, um, but I will say, I don't know how she could force you to turn heat on. I can't imagine there's a contractual provision, but I don't know. So I won't offer she's that advice. Yeah, no, she's saying in the lease, the lease requires you to run the temperature at a certain degree if it's uh -huh. freezing. Well, 60 degrees will kick the heat on. Uh, if I am allowed to run it at 50 degrees, I can keep it from kicking on, but uh, Okay, so it there is a contract very, provision. It's gotten very unkind. Okay, well, so so then I then I'll take that back. If there's a contract provision, then that's part of your arrangement, and and I haven't seen it, so I shouldn't offer advice on that. So as to yeah, anything the county could do, um, we do have a proper. Well, did we adopt the property maintenance ordinance? Not yet. Okay, so we don't have a property maintenance ordinance in this county currently. Um, so I'm not sure that we would have any. Um, I'm looking at Sharon. Uh, you know, it, it, unless it was rising to the level of, of it being, you know, condemnable, but in the absence of a um, property maintenance ordinance, I'm not sure that we would necessarily have the authority to do that. I would have to look at that further. Um, yeah, I'm afraid what my first thought was is this is a landlord tenant dispute um, in terms of the conditions and whether they're breaching the agreement. Um, but I know that's not a satisfaction response. Um, but Sharon and I can talk a little more and see if there is any element of, of county um, support. You know, as I said, whether, if it's completely unsafe, unfit, whether that's a, a condemnation type action that could be brought. Um, I'm, I'm, I don't know the legal either, but you know, do you have, a, if, if somebody came environmental health, for example, for wells contaminated, environmental health come and said that you can't, live there so it's unsafe do you have a place to go that's a big problem i'm trying to get out of there i have no place to go and that's uh, the thing if somebody comes and, condemn because that's what's going to happen that, yeah that's comes, the best we could do yeah, right if somebody comes if we send uh or if you send environmental health or if we <coughs> send the inspector out or the marshal says yes it's not safe to live do you have a place to go oh ha i have to find a place to go regardless i cannot stay there um uh, her last words to me when I told her, if I turn it on, it's gonna make me sick. She said, it won't kill you. So it's, it's extremely unconscionable and uh, cruel, it's cruel. So I have to find a place to go, but I thought that the board should be very aware that these conditions exist. And here I'm coming as an elderly person to live in this area, wonderful retirement area and join I'm on a waiting list. It's a year to two year waiting list to get into a, a wonderful community at Farmington Creek, uh -huh. uh, trying to get in there. Uh, you know, I don't know what I'm, I, I called a moving company. 
this afternoon. He's coming out tomorrow to give me a price on how do we just get my stuff out of here into storage? I have no place to go, and I might have to be in a motel. I don't know. There's but, some groups out here. There's some churches out here that help. I mean, that's. Uh, I don't know how to find them. Yeah. I'm having trouble finding where everything is in town. You know, I, I'm just, I'm brand new. But to I'd hate to send, like you said, if we send somebody out there to look at it and condemn it, where you go? It's probably the best thing that could happen to her because someone could die in that place the way they're doing what they're doing. Someone could literally die. I think she can maybe reach out to Don at Senior Services and see if there's any For ninth program. district. Yeah, ninth district. Yeah, what's Rebecca's? That what she wants. That's family connection. Family connection. Yeah, she she. Well, I don't know if she. Ninth district family connection. Some of those. What's the one church over there on uh, Kylo that helps? Is that where you go to church? So, no, the one. Uh, the Catholic. Price Redeemer. Price Redeemer. Yeah. yeah. I know they help a lot of folks in the county. They're on Kylo Church. Up of I don't know. Uh, Price. What are you suggesting? I call them? Uh, yeah. Uh, and, I don't know if we've got a, uh -oh. you know, that's something we might look at possibly on our website, putting some kind of hotlines on there for different groups like that. Well, it's, uh, I, I didn't, I couldn't believe the situation I found myself in. Diane might know the name or, or St. Vincent's. I know they've helped a lot of people in the county. Okay. Are you by yourself? That's the problem. <laughs> okay. I'm with no grandchildren involved or anything? Not nearby. No. Okay. Oh. My kids are far off. They came here. Um, to join really the elderly community and uh, you know the whole atmosphere. So, uh, Maybe know, David, Dawn, you know Dawn, our senior director, she maybe could provide at least a list of that how that could help her maybe, and then we could get her that list. So if you uh, would give David your. Uh, Contact information. Yeah, can I manage your contact information? We'll see. Maybe we can see if we can. We got, got it. it. All right. Okay, we've got yeah, it. I spoke to Kristen earlier. She thought perhaps uh, right. zoning would sign some ordinances or something, yeah. but um, okay. I don't think they exist from what I've been told. All right. So, but that's something we're certainly. Can I ask you which part of the county this is in? I'm off Heath Road. I don't know the parts of the county. All I know, I'm Heath off Road. Heath Road. Yeah, no, off 400. Off of 400. That quarter mile off of 400. I just wish I could tell you, yeah, leave yeah. and there's a place, but yeah, that's what I would have done a month ago. <laughs> yeah, but that's the problem how to leave. We'll try our best yeah. to get you some information. Yeah. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Okay. So, if you're going to email me that, or, uh, I'll give you a call. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. All right. We do have need to go in executive session for legal. So I'd entertain a motion to go into executive session. So okay. moved. Motion by Commissioner Fawcett, seconded Second. by Commissioner Satterfield. Discussion? What, uh, we're just going in for legal. Legal, uh, is that correct? Uh, litigation. Litigation. Okay. Okay, well. Ms. Davis? <laughs> um, I'm going to share just a suggestion that you maybe already talked with, but we have these site plans, I think, for Dawson Forest. I didn't know if y'all seen it? That's all I was going to ask you to make sure you talk to the government. So why don't we were okay? Let's go in there. Yeah, we'll just look at it. Go we'll go in and talk about it for just we'll a minute. Go in there and look at it. Okay. Just if they changed anything, I'd like to make sure. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. That's good. All right. So we got a motion and a second. Go into executive session for litigation. Any discussion? Hearing none, please vote. No vote coming out of this, correct? No vote? So. Okay, no vote. All right. So we'll, that is 
approve 3 to go into executive session. And with that, we will take about five minutes, then we'll meet in executive session, and we are adjourned.